We've arrived in Tofino. We're gonna have a great day. I can already tell it's beautiful out here. We're going after Chinook and Coho with tofinofishing.com. Our boat's here, the crew's getting it ready, so let's go fishing. It's time for the Northwest Fishing Reports with Aaron Borg, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. Come along as we travel to hidden gems and fishing hotspots around the Northwest. You'll see a little of everything as we fish with top guides on their home waters and bring you the latest in tackle, tactics, and techniques to help you catch more fish. Today, Mike and Aaron get after some ocean salmon in beautiful Tofino, B.C. with Captain Rob Frawley. Then Rob is with guide Jared Gibbons, and they are going coconut crazy on Konkanali. Now, it's time to go fishing. Presented by your Inland Northwest Toyota dealers and the Fishing Hole and Sports Shop. We're going to go down to a spot called Wyatt Point. It's uh, about an hour run down the coast. We say an hour just based on sea conditions. Sometimes it takes us a little less time. Uh, but we ball cart about an hour. And uh, today we're going to be targeting some Chinook salmon. Uh, there's still some Chinooks that are hanging around there waiting for this last uh, little bit of rain to push them up the rivers before they go. But uh, over the last couple of days, we've been getting into some nicer Chinooks still. Um, some of them are still pretty chrome. They're not too black yet, uh, which is pretty good for middle of September fishing. Again, my name is Rob, this is Gibson, and uh, the boat is called Tenacious. So these reels that we're using out here, they're Islander reels. This is the MR2. Uh, they make an MR3 and a TR3. They're all single action reels with a cork drag system. So think of it like an oversized fly reel or a center pin reel with a cork drag system. Your screws in here for your drag, and it pushes against the cork tension on the, the line. We have to use barbless hooks here, so we want to make sure that we keep a nice constant tension on that fish at all times. Um, what we want to do when we're fighting that fish is we want to keep that rod in our belly, keep that rod tip up in the air, and keep that rod loaded like you see here. Keep a nice constant tension on that line. Uh, these fish have been really hot lately, uh, so it's extra important that we keep that line tight. What's going to happen when that fish wants to run and peel a line, if you're holding those handles, that fish can't run. So what we do, we just move our hand away, and you can put it underneath the reel, and you can see those handles spinning when that line comes out. Another nickname for these reels is called the knuckle dust. That was your turn, Aaron. I'm up. <laughs> yeah, well, not. <laughs> yeah, we got a fish on. Got the clip on it. Okay. You can try and get your rod. It looks like you might have just gone right through that. Oh, it's alright. So we're out here, off to Fino fishing with Tofino Fishing, and we've got our first one on. Looks to be a decent size. Feels good. Oh, I'm gonna move this uh, just right here. Where do you want me to go? Ah, yeah, you're too fine. Just check it out. Try it. Just trying to get some nice camera angles. Look at that. Here. And oh, let him run, let him go. Woo! Perfect. And we'll go ahead first into the net. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just get to lift the line out for you, please. First one, all right. Here we go, Aaron. All right, first fish of the day. Skunk is off. Yeah, I got to smell a skunk out of the boat. That did not take too long. No, we've only had uh, lines in the water maybe 10 minutes.
Hey, Sean! Oh! oh. <laughs> Curse of fish off! <laughs> oh. Alright. So that was a Mr. Miyagi fish then? That was the curse. Fish on. <laughs> fish off. Get ready, there's a fish about to come up. There you go. Off the cliff, just start reeling. That's the deal. Oh, nice. That's the deal. Got him. He's doing the head shake and running a little bit. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I can see a flash out there. to get away. Just hold him out to the side. Netting job there, Gibson. <laughs> <That was great>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Woo! Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice Woo! job. Good All job, right. Noah. Your first uh, Chinooky? Oh yeah. Congratulations. Today was Noah's first Chinook, so we have something special, Rob. A uh, little tradition out here in Tofino that for anybody that catches their first Chinook, you gotta eat the heart of the fish you caught. Oh, yeah. So, here you go, Noah. There's All right. a salmon heart. Your first salmon? Not beaten, it's a little bloody. <laughs> Look at that. Salty. <laughs> well done. Nice uh, fish. Thank you. Add away, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. This bay that we're fishing here, um, just on the outside of these rocks, there's a lot of squid that come in and spawn and do their feeding in and around here. So we're trying to match the hatch. We call this the turd. And what I've got on the inside here is some beads. You stuff it full of beads. And the little secret to this is to put some red beads up towards the top of it. And the big males, when they get into spawning and they get into their, their big feeding habits, uh, it their hearts turn a big bright red color and you can see them so that's what those fish are looking for is those big full body male kind of squids that uh, are nice easy to spot easy to target and make for a nice healthy meal out here Fish. 
Thank you, sir. Nice nut job. That fish came running back at the boat. I thought I had lost them, but uh, the hook's held. Nice fish, Rob. Nice nut job, Gibson. Lofino fishing, Vancouver Island. Go get them. Oh, big man. fish, big fish. Fish on. I don't want him to come off now. <laughs> there was a big old weed on there. It's wild. Gotta let it go. We've come to the end of a great day of fishing here, late season Chinook offshore fishing at Tofino. Rob Gibson, pretty good day. It's been a really fun day, yeah. There's been lots of action on the rods. We've got a couple Chinook in the boat. A lot of wild coho that we had to let go. Uh, we can only keep the hatchery ones out here, which is not always a bad thing. You keep the wild fish stocks alive and well. But, and uh, Gibson, you did a great job on that Chinook uh, netting. Net in one hand, rod in the other. Yeah, you gotta get the other rod out of the way. So it's, uh, you know, you wanna get that last fish in the boat. So there's a lot of things to do here at Tofino besides uh, fishing and a uh, great place to visit. Oh, it's beautiful out here on the west coast of Vancouver Island. Yeah, there's used to be a big fishing town, but now it's kind of turned into a, a one-stop family vacation town. You got fishing, you got surfing, you got whale watching, bear watching, a number of hikes that you can do, old growth rainforest, uh, amazing restaurants, like world-class restaurants. The hotels are, are just beautiful. Yep. Beautiful scenery, beautiful people. Very cool stuff. Check out tofinofishing.com and uh, do a little research on the town of Tofino. You'll uh, be really excited to come out here like we were. We'll see you guys on the water and online. We've come to the end of a great fishing adventure. We have all this fish. Rob's gonna tell us what we can do with it. Rob. So yeah, we get our fish processed through Trilogy Fish Store. Uh, these guys are a local processor here in town and whatever you guys want to do with your catch these guys are able to do it for you whether you want to take whole slab for the barbecue nice individual portion size pieces hot smoke cold smoke candied uh, it's all you know processed right here locally and then it's flash frozen and vacuum packed so that you guys can get your fish home as fresh as possible and if you're from out of town and you flew in they can ship it to your home that way. Exactly, that, right? yeah, yeah, we can ship it to you guys. Uh, if you've got other travel plans other than Tofino, uh, we wanna make sure that you guys get your fish so yep. you can enjoy what you caught. Absolutely, because you're gonna get a lot of really good eating fish, so you don't wanna have it uh, mishandled, and this place will take good care of it for you. Rob, thanks again for a great adventure. We will be back. It was, it was a fun couple of days, and I'm looking forward to having you guys back. Absolutely. in on Con Canoli here, Jared Gibbons, and the guys uh, from the Youth Outdoors. We got a couple fish on. Looks like we're one for two out of that action there. So uh, Jared, 100 feet off the launch, is that about right? 200? Yeah, 200. 200 feet off the launch. Long run this morning. Long, <laughs> long run out. It's hard to get out here and set up. Exactly. And that's our, that's our first fish of the day. We're on a little garlic. 
so far on that one we're gonna run some kokanee and some uh, some curl anise as well nice so hopefully we can keep enough lines in the water to get off the get off the lake before this afternoon huh oh yeah <laughs> okay let's see if we can get some lines back in the water didn't even know we had them all out yet. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't. No, yeah, I, I wasn't in fishing mode quite then. I'm still looking up on the hills for deer. I know, huh? All right. Got a little rainbow. Right tip up. There we go. Cool thing about Conkin Alley, you get a mixed bag of rainbows, and these rainbows cut really nice. What's the what's the limit on rainbows, Jared? It's it's a combined limit of Haley, that's over two. I know. The first one was his fault. He moved it. <laughs> what do you say about that, Dad? <laughs> yeah, poor sport. Poor sport. <laughs> Not even sabotage. Oh, it looks like we got a double. Oh yeah. There he is. Let's hide your planing. Let's go and shake that if you want. Go ahead and pull some wine out. There's a kokanee. Oh, that's it. Spicy. Up, 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 up. Alright. That'll work. It's a nice piece. Oh yes. Nice fish, Haley. Thank you. I'm one up on you, Dad. Yeah, that one even came off the clip. Look at that. We're having a pretty nice morning out here, Jared. We are. I can fight him on that side over there. Okay. Oh. A little nice. meat on that one. Nice chunk right there. Yeah. <laughs> so. Looks like you got a shaker wing on there. Yeah, these are our new shaker wings. Our uh, UV series, this is our pink crush. It's been really producing for us. In front of our pink uh, uh, holographic coochies there, we call them the eliminators. Nice. Yeah. Well, we've had a lot of luck over the last couple of years with your eliminators. They're a great setup, I mean. Pink, oh, back rod, yep. Oh, we better, there you go, someone grab it, there you go. <laughs> oh, Come it. on, ladies. There you go, I'll throw this one up here. So it's been steady all morning. We go maybe five minutes in between bites. It's been singles and doubles. A good mix of rainbows and kokanee. Nice sized fish here on the Conconoli Reservoir. All right, guys, we're out here on the Conconoli Reservoir with Jared Givens of Okanagan Valley Guide Service. We're fishing for kokanee, some nice rainbows. And today, Mike Sandman's joining us with his daughter, Haley. <laughs> and Mike's coming to us because he attended a charity auction for Youth Outdoors Unlimited. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about Youth Outdoors Unlimited? You got a history with those guys. I do, I do, yeah. So uh, Youth Outdoors uh, was started in Moses Lake, Washington about seven years ago. A group of people got together and uh, they had this idea that they wanted to take uh, children that uh, uh, are disabled uh, and or have life-threatening illnesses on fishing and hunting adventures. For me, I personally got involved uh, not just for the kids. The kids are, uh, you'll, you'll never meet a, a, a stronger person than these, right. these kids. It was actually watching the parents and right. you can just see the, the gratitude that they have and the struggles that they have and that, that's what kind of got my wife and I into it. And uh, it's just a great organization to be a part of. And, and uh, this this trip, uh, there's a fish on back here. <laughs> no, don't mind me. Yeah. Go for it. We got important stuff we're talking about here. Yeah. Jared, you can stop keep, catching keep, fish. Keep rolling. <laughs> and a lot of the outfitters, like like Jared with Okanagan Valley Guide Service, they, they'll donate these trips to these banquets. And, and I had never been to kokanee fishing before. And uh, I thought, heck, I'm going to try it. And, and my daughter's going to get married uh, here in September. And this is uh, trying to do one last father-daughter sure. adventure before uh, she runs off and gets married here in September. So. Well, and congratulations, Haley, on that. Thank you. And Mike, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for being out here today, for sharing about Youth Outdoors Unlimited. And of course, Jared Gibbons, 
you know, we wouldn't be here without your oh, yes. uh, donation and support of their organization. You've got a kokanee set up here that's been very successful on this lake, and you use the same setup on Palmer, mm -hmm. on Chelan, on any of the area when you're targeting kokanee, and you still catch some rainbows with the same stuff. Let us know what you got going here. This here is a standard, what we call eliminator setup. I, I tied these just a hair different with the back rod going off right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard. There go, you know, there Jared, it's always a challenge to uh, it is, isn't it? to film with you because we catch fish all the time. Uh, we're using shoe peg corn. Mm -hmm. uh, that there, it's, it has uh, a couple tablespoons of uh, the orange uh, Potsky uh, cure in it there. Mm -hmm. uh, mix that up, stir it up, make sure it's all, all good to go. And then, you know, I that's a garlic. So I just only take a tablespoon of the garlic, mix in there, let it sit and marinate. Uh, and, and it seems to be working real good. You know, I strain all the water out of the shoe pet corn, put it in there. And then with it being soupy like that, I like just a little bit of soup in there. Maybe add just a little more garlic dipping sauce inside of it. So it's garlic dipping sauce you're putting in there. Exactly, along with, with the colored uh, orange cure. Gotcha. And so that works real good. And then also I just go with the straight shoe pet corn. Right. And just put plain Jane on there, corn, and then I'll put it in. You know, today's the krill or the krill anise has always been so really good. So you can good. change your scents. Exactly. I just never sell out even though like the garlic's been working really good consistently. You guys saw that, you know, the krill and the krill anise were working a lot better there for just a second. Right. And fish on. <laughs> there we go. That Ooh. one's on the garlic. Perfect. We're working on our last, last two fish for the bow limit a uh, couple hours into this. Mike, you gonna get it done for us? I'll give it a shot. Oh, that's a monster. Don't lose it, okay? Just keep real, don't lose it. Okay, Roger, bud. Now that's, that's a good fatty one right there, bud. Thank you. Great, great fish. My fish is so big, they're gonna bonk it, Haley. <laughs> I just don't want to hook. <laughs> you could have went with it. I know. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. Jared, we're trying to finish. Oh! oh! Here's a nice oh, one. It was a beauty. That was oh, a beauty dude. fish. It was a good day. Lots of fish, lots of action. Good fun. Well, we're done in time for the pancake house. Hillary and Sarah and Mike and Haley, they had a blast out there and so did I. Hey, thanks for having me out, Jared. Appreciate All right. it. Thanks a lot.